I don't know if you remember, I guess it depends on how old you are, but when I was a kid there was an electronics test kit that was just basically a board of a bunch of components that you could wire jumpers together on and explore and learn how things work. And uh, so, you know, I really miss playing with that. But now, you know, we get with the times and we have a board that's much more complicated and the components are a lot smaller and you can do more stuff with it. And, you know, given today's generation of being able to pick up computer stuff very quickly, uh, they came out with this Duino kit, which teaches you how to uh, build circuits using Arduinos. And this is using an Arduino Nano 3.0. This is a kit we've gotten to work to play with. And uh, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's a prototyping board that's got all your basic components. Comes with a bunch of jumpers. And uh, comes with a USB connection to your laptop, Mac or Windows or whatever. Um, but this is really incredible. Uh, I've been playing with this for probably about an hour, hour and a half now. And I've been able to write to an LCD screen. Um, I've hooked up a, a buzzer, which is like the number one thing. I've got a potentiometer and uh, a photo cell right there. Just a couple of analog inputs. So this is reading out analog inputs to the screen. There's my photo cell I can cover up. Oh yeah, <laughs> and that's the cool thing. Uh, I program this to the piezo, the buzzer, and the light. If the uh, if the cell is too dark, it alarms. And if the potentiometer goes over 90%, boom. How cool is that? And all this stuff is coming in through serial too. Like print this to a serial console log. Um, and you know, like the the code's all written in Java, and um, you know it's like kind of looking around at other code and copy and pasting and then understanding how to make it work and manipulate some stuff, you can piece together a decent little program here. Um, I'm super impressed. This is fun. I'm going to enjoy working with this a whole lot, but <laughs> after about an hour and a half, I can, uh, I can pick up a couple of parameters. I can make them alarm. I can write them to a computer so that could be accessed remotely. I did go through... Um, battery power with the power supply up here so I know how to go mobile with this. So this is going to be fun to play with and make uh, mobile projects. Highly recommended.